The War Tales. Hello and welcome everyone to another War Tales Beginner Strategy Guide. In today's video, we're going to be covering some of the basics to commanding a troop of hungry wolves while providing an example of just how powerful having a few wolves in your early game par party can be. If you don't know how to capture wolves, I've covered it in an earlier video, you can check it out here. The first thing I want to mention is that you'll want to keep your wolves happy and fed. So the best way to do that is to engage lots of enemies while you're out in the forest. In, in particular, the boars are a great enemy to keep the wolves fed. Keeping your wolves fed with wild animal meat is also a really great way to level up your troop quickly early in the game as well. Let's go ahead and kick this combat off. First, what are we up against? We're up against three boars over here, and then we've got another three boars with the dominant snow. So my basic strategy, what I like to do with the wolves, is I like to keep them behind our main forces and use them as support support troops. And what we're going to try to do is we're going to try and isolate these three bulls, or th sorry, these three boars, finish them off quickly, and then try and um, we'll hold the back lines here with our uh, with our tankier units and try and surround these guys after we've uh, we've eliminated these folks I'm actually thinking why don't we let's switch you and you and I'm gonna switch the two of you for the time being yeah we're gonna do it that way let's see if we can pick up some valor points uh, the wolves are very squishy and the other thing to mention is they're AI controlled so they provide excellent support and help to clean up troops but they're very they're very fragile especially early level and some of these wolves we've just recruited and haven't actually had an opportunity to heal their initial wounds and so when you capture wolves um, obviously you deal out a lot of damage to them and um, they, they become injured. Now who are we going to kick the combat off? So we're just going to play defensively here with these two. Um, Alright, I want to see what they're doing first. So these two are going to move first. We should be out of their range. You want to try as often as possible to deny the AI of, from getting an attack in before um, and attack in on one of their turns and just try and maximize the amount of attacks that you actually get in. Alright, so we want to get these these guys locked down as quickly as possible. So let's move move you up and we also want to make sure that there's lots of room for our wolves to get in into the action as well. So this map is a little bit, it's going to be a little bit tight quarters for the wolves to maneuver, especially considering the wolves take up a little bit more space than your regular your regular troops. All right, so Valkyrie should have him locked into combat. And all right, that's good. That's fine. Yeah, so we'll have Balder sort of block this choke point and then Ragnar can support with, with arrows. We'll also want to try and, um, all right, let's move you. All right, we'll move you in there. Again, try and keep the lanes open if possible. All right, so we've got these two locked in combat. We'll have Thor probably lock this one in combat, or maybe even just let the wolves lock him in combat because we want to be careful. I wonder how much room he's got. All right, let's end the turn with you. All right, see, very nice. Nice little support there, and there should be enough room to sneak another wolf in there. Hopefully he doesn't have room to get to our archer. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, shoot. All right, yeah. Yeah, Thor, unfortunately, you're going to have to hold this guy at bay. And just position to try and block the boars from coming in here to flank him. So 
So he's locked in combat with this wolf. We'll want to get this guy finished up. Nice, uh, nice attack there. All right, so I want to try and wear this wolf down as quickly as possible to free up this this wolf, so that um, he doesn't take too much damage. And then move wise, I'm just gonna move you to a little bit of a safer destination for the moment. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna move you back here. Well, he, he can cover a fair bit of ground, but the reason being, our yeah, very nice. So we've got a nice lane here, and get a little bit of a bottleneck down here. But let me see here. Let's see if we can maximize our attack. So you're gonna come down. Beautiful. Very nice. And then we're gonna galvanize our troops and gain a whole pile of uh, whole pile of the valor points. And then just move. Go ahead and move up. And this guy, ghost here, should be able to get into combat there. And in fact, why don't we? Use some valor points here for a little frenzy. All right, that was that was a little bit lackluster, but he did gain back one of the valor points, so that's not too bad. All right, I think we had a fairly solid first round of combat. I feel like you could have gotten. Oh, we've got one more move, and let's just block both of these guys here and attack this one. Get a double strike in there, and might as well go with a. Cutting Maelstrom as well. Beautiful. Um, well, it didn't do really as much as I'd hoped. But... Alright, so our flanks are secure. These three are pretty well surrounded. Be able to finish them off here quickly. Alright, new round is starting. Let's kick it off with you. Um, actually, let's get the strike in. Oh, come on. Tell me you're going to finish him off. Um, alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack you, because I think you've got a better chance of killing him. Okay, perfect. So we gain a valor point there, and then let's get you, position you right there, and we're gonna drop our barrage, and just see if we can, ah, uh, damn, I was hoping. So these guys are not locked in combat, I think our best option, these guys are not locked in combat either. I was hoping I'd be able to get... Oh. Alright, that one actually... Alright, let's lock it there. So, Barrage. This is going to... Anytime one of these guys move, uh, Ragnar here is going to get a shot in on them. So, um, I'm just trying to cover as much ground as possible. None of them are locked in combat, so they're all going to move next turn. So, hopefully, we'll get three free shots in there. We'll see. See how it goes. We did get an attack in on our wolf. But this guy's not going to last much longer. Um, in fact, let's have... Okay, this guy's going to move next, so let's finish him off. And let's get you into position here to protect our archer. And the wolf's doing their... Doing their job, just supporting, finishing off troops. All right, Thor, you might as well go ahead. And we'll go with, I guess maybe I should have used the weakening blow first. All right, so all the wolves, we've kept them safe. We've isola we isolated those units killed them pretty quickly and these three are not going to last too much longer either all right uh odin let's see if we can get you caught up to the rest of the troop uh okay so he didn't move he didn't have to move he just got the attack in there uh the nice thing about this ability though too with the archers if 
uh, you don't actually get any shots in. You actually get your Valor points back. Uh, Balder, yeah, let's... Uh, is this a new round of combat, or is this the same round still? Okay, let's... Um, have you move around this way, I guess. We're going to keep a little bit of room here for our, uh, our wolf to get in there. The other thing to be wary of is the traps, so try not to deploy your wolves where they'll be. So we've got one shot there. Alright, this guy's next. Yeah, try and try and um, when you make your deployment with the wolves, just try and deploy them away from the tra traps because the AI will run over the traps quite often. Oh, there we go, and another shot in. So Baldur's a little bit pinned down, but these guys we're, we're going to be able to finish them off pretty quick here. All right, why don't we start with Thor because he's going to finish this guy off and then we can open up this lane to allow Bruce and Guinevere here to come in behind and then just make lots of room. And might as well, why not another attack in there. Alright, so let's cancel this. Cancel our barrage. And how about you move up to here? Get a shot in there. Finish him off because uh, we don't want Baldur to take any more damage if we can avoid it. And let's just move this way. Beautiful. Ah, I didn't quite didn't quite finish him. Alright, um, I'm going to have Valkyrie get in behind here. Again, just trying to keep as much of the lanes open as possible. I don't... Uh, you might be able to squeeze through there. Maybe not. It's hard to say. But the key with the wolves is just locking down your enemies and then allowing your wolves to come in behind and just provide support, really. Uh, Balder, why don't we take your attack? Oh, actually, maybe we should take a Thor's attack. As you can tell, I'm a big fan of the Norse uh, Norse gods and mythology. We've uh, <laughs> named most of my characters Norse-themed or Viking-themed, I guess. Uh, not all of them, but uh, a lot of them. All right, this should uh, pretty well wrap it up here. Sir Otto with the uh, final blow. All right, that's all there is to it, guys. Um, you want to, when you capture your wolves, you want to heal them as soon as possible, obviously, so that they perform better in combat. But that's the basics of, of how you want to command your wolf pack. You want to keep the wolves protected, have them come up from behind, open up nice lanes for them to engage enemies while the enemies are already locked down and yeah uh happy hunting guys keep them uh fed keep them happy and you will have a very very dangerous uh group of uh of of wolves anyway thanks for watching have yourselves a wonderful day and i'll see you next time